Welcome back to Corpse Party. In the last episode, there was a lot of talk about butts. And it's the best time to talk about butts when there's a gaggle of ghosts coming for you. That's a good idea. I'd lie down too. なんでそんなすみっこにすみっこの方が落ち着くんだ私わかる私もそうだよなんか足首固定できるものないかなわかるわたしもそうだよなんか足首固定できるものないかなうんすまないね感謝には及ばねえよナオミさん<笑> These people are just so casual. They've literally witnessed dead bodies all over the place. And they're acting as if it's just normal. せいこありがとうどういたしまして私も前足首やった時あるんだあと冷やすものでもあればいいんだけどね助かったよって寝てるしいいけどなる<笑> was quick お許しもね oh, never mind she's not asleep she's a liar there is no time for this conversation right now. There is murderous spirits everywhere. Seiko is just so inappropriate. Seiko <laughs> is that's probably the first normal thing she said all day. <笑>結構辛く当たってるな私後でごっくりって何スマホ意味わかんない <笑> Yeah, this is a great idea. You just go, leave the girl with the injured uncle alone in a weird infirmary room. Not to mention, in fact, going outside the infirmary room is probably not a good idea. None of this is a good idea. Oh, 
And this is the intro that I was talking about. I said that it would pop back up. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you're sexually assaulted, as long as you're cute. Well, we're gonna die. That's not good. No, thank you. You stay away. There's no pee bucket to save me in here. Yeah, that response is totally valid. Wait, this is just not a good time, really, is it? I'd like to think, yes, yeah, someone is there. That's just kind of gross. So what I don't understand... Kids end up in this school. They get murdered by ghosts. And then they become murderous ghosts. Why? Definitely not. Uh, no. Thank you. Go back the way you came, demon. You are not a flame. I got told that all the ghosts were flames. Oh. God damn it. Oh, of course, it's super strong hair that flame can't penetrate. Ow! <laughs> I would imagine death is inevitable anyway. Ah, shh, you're okay. Oh! God damn it. Stop laughing at me, it's mean. There we go, we beat the super strong hair that defies flame. Oh, thank God for that. I blame Seiko. She left us on our own. That's just rude. And what's stopping this ghost from leaving the infirmary? <coughs> Ew. <coughs> oh, hello, Seiko. How convenient you show up now. Probably off lubing up a butt. Oh, 
That doesn't look like bath to me, it looks like blood. I'd be slightly more concerned. Yeah, well, the blue flamey boy ghost said in the beginning that you're all in different spaces. I mean, the fact that you can hear you that is just crazy. Well, clearly not. She just threw up blood. Why? Don't be off limits. Let's go back in. Let's go party. He wasn't a red ghost, maybe he just wanted a hug. Yeah, that's true. That is also true. So Naomi knows she's being a bit of a dick. But carries on acting like a bit of a dick. Naomi, Genki Daste, Nantoka Naruyo. Arienaijan, Shinu Nante, or Dastachi. I don't think there's time to talk about hairdressers. Although, fair play for trying to keep the morale up. Can't doubt her there. Oh, good, now Naomi's the downer. I mean, there's things to fear other than fear, like the demon ghost in the infirmary. Oh, this is not a good time to have a fallout. Gotta stick together. Talk about butts. Go back to them days. I mean, in fairness, I probably would have cracked a long time before now. I don't know how these have the capability of keeping things together. I don't have the nerves to be playing hide and seek with no murderous spirits. Yeah, your family might search and search, but if you can't even find the people that you fell into the hallway, how are your family supposed to find you? それは違うよ。何が目は食って言うのは絶対違うよ。いなくなった人が大事だから何苦労でも何でもしてあげたいからしたいからするんだよ。私のバカ。いや、you're being a bit of a dick, Naomi. I mean, the blue ghost literally told them that they were lucky to be here together. And now they're fighting. So no doubt they're going to split up. And that's just not going to make for a good time for either of them. Granted, I've never been in a situation where I found myself in a school being chased by murderous child ghosts. So I can't really talk about the stress or pressure of this situation. So 
so apologize? Oh, Seiko. You're a weird guy, but I feel for you. So apologize, don't just say it in your head. There we go. Finally grew up a little bit. No, let's not split up. That is not a good idea. Okay, we split up. Yeah, you're being a bit of a dick. Follow her? Oh, okay, go the other way. That works too. You are a Debbie down and Naomi. That's what I said. Me and this monologuing person, though. Is it Naomi that's monologuing? Well, at least she knows in the end, I guess. Maybe cry a bit quieter. Naomi! Don't know, but I'm guessing crying in a place like this is like bleeding in a pool of sharks. I wouldn't say it's stupid. Maybe not the right time to think about things like that, but it's definitely not stupid. Why not? Why not do stupid things? Yeah, more reason to stick together. But you walk the opposite way. If you just would have went the same way she went, you would have found her a lot easier. It's like in a horror movie when they trip over from running after from the serial killer. There is no way she's only just thought about being left by herself. They walked opposite ways. Another dead body. It's always a sight to see. Well, clearly God didn't save you.
Ah, oh, there's our bucket friend. Are you a pee bucket? Sure, Seiko's not it. Oh, never mind. Now we've got a bad feeling about this. Oh, you can see a rope. Why is there a rope? Oh, that's why there's a rope. Well, that's not good. I'm putting it lightly, that's just just a mild inconvenience. Oh, she's still alive. Yes, let's pull the girl who is hanging. The bucket. Bucket always comes in handy. That's gross, but it's not the bucket's fault. We shall call the bucket Steve. We're too late, Steve. Well, that's a sight. See, these should have just stuck together. Stick together, and you won't die by hanging. Or something along them lines. Yeah, that's an appropriate reaction. I don't even know where this argument started. Was she annoyed that she got left in the infirmary by herself? But even so, she survived. And she should have just got on with it. Because they still need to get out of this place. And now, she's on her own. And Seiko, for all we know, could come back as a red flamey ghost boy. She could speak. <laughs> yeah, maybe you should have done this while she was alive. That would have been more helpful. No point in apologising now. So thank you for watching today's video and if you enjoyed it consider subscribing, liking and come back for chapter 2.